Um, well, I brought her back to life, so that's a big change because uh, it's hard to do the book if she's dead the whole time. But beyond that, I, th I think the big thing for me is uh, I want to do a story that focuses more on Jean than the Phoenix as a whole. There have been a lot of stories involving the Phoenix recently where Jean is sort of a, a, a second tier character. And so I really wanted to focus on her because she's one of my favorite X-Men and she's one of the original X-Men. So I thought that was pretty important. I think the best way to get in the mindset, or for me, is I try and read as many of their stories as possible from as many different writers and sort of find a happy medium, like a good middle point between the voices the different writers give them. It's, a, it's always a little bit of a balancing act because everybody does their characters a little different, but that's sort of what's fun about Marvel is seeing someone's take on things. But um, for someone like like Gene for Phoenix, like a lot of that is just reading Chris Claremont a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's just doing your homework. Yeah, yeah, I, I loved working at Forbidden Planet. Um, it was a great experience and it taught me a lot about the way people think about comics and buy comics, because I've always been sort of isolated in my comics fandom. I sort of view it as a very solitary thing. I would go into the store and buy my books and read them at home and I'm not, I wasn't a big like, chat room guy. I didn't have a lot of friends who I talked to about comics. Like, I had a lot of friends who read comics, but we didn't like discuss them. I was not in reading groups. And so being in a store where you're surrounded by comics all the time was a, was a big thing for me in understanding how different people approach the books and the stories and, and the way they think about them was, was a big deal. And I also think like, uh, you know, understanding, it, it really gave me a good appreciation for what do you ask of, of someone when you make a comic that you want them to spend four bucks, three bucks, five bucks on an issue, uh, what that means to a lot of people. So it's a, it's a tricky balance, but I think uh, working at Forbidden Planet really helps me to figure that out. I mean, my favorite, I'm writing a lot of my favorites. I love a lot of the X-Men, especially Magic and Havoc and Jean and <clears throat> um, Cyclops and Wolverine are two of my favorites and I haven't written them because they're both dead um, and that's sad. Uh, and Daredevil is a big one for me. Uh, I love Daredevil. And in terms of villains, Kingpin's my favorite and that's sort of where I started at Marvel is writing Kingpin, but um, I really love Doctor Doom and would love to write more Doctor Doom, which uh, is not on the horizon right now, but maybe someday.